Alright, uh, Dennis did a new online friendly version of Ebbets Field. I did download that. We'll, uh, maybe we'll showcase that one tomorrow. I'm check it out. I may uh, have that replace my current Ebbets Field. I need to open up some slots here for sure. But here's Six Stadium in Seattle, former home of the Seattle Pi Pilots. And if you read anything about this stadium, you'll know it was falling apart. <laughs> it was not a favorite of anybody. And, uh, but it's, you know, historic part of baseball. So let's see. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like the seating out there. Let's check. Got the scoreboard up there. And I know this was hard for Dennis to do. He'll, he'll be joining us here shortly. Um, cause of the lack of pictures in this place. But look at that. Nice, nice. Very nice. This was, uh, I believe, uh, mid-60s, this stadium was here. Look at the tunnels. Nice, nice. I love how he does the tunnels, man. Those are so cool. I, I do not know how to do that. And I believe, let's see, can we go inside the tunnels? Let's see. Do they lead anywhere? Whoop. Just below the things. But that's kind of cool. You can go into them. <laughs> Oh, we got stairs here. Let's see where the stairs are going. Stairs are going up to here. I wish they would put regular stairs. I have to use the escalator stairs, too, when I want to put stairs in. It looks, for 1960 stadium, it looks so out of place. But, yeah, that's what you have to do. Because they don't have, like, wooden stairs or anything like that. But this is very cool. Very cool. And I know he worked on this for about a week. Uh, look, tunnels, more tunnels up here. That is so cool. Very nice job. Yep, and there were bleachers out here. Yep, yeah, and they they make you use the batter's eye that they did not have here. So, very cool. Yeah, let's see what it looks like, the field looks like from up here, huh? In the top row. There we go. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Very cool. All right, let's, before we look at the outside, let's go into the press box here. <laughs> I like how he does that. I like how sitting on the edge. <laughs> That's the view from the press box area. Hey, you're in the way. There you go. Very nice, very nice. The hill's outside. Very nice. Now, uh, before we turn the lights on, let's see what it looks like outside. Six Seattle Stadium. That's what it said on the outside of the stadium. Yep, it did. It was white, and it never looked this good. <laughs> I think it was wood. I think it was made of wood. And the wood was all rotted and stuff. It was uh, it was a cool stadium uh, design-wise, but it was very, very old. Uh, I guess I'm in somebody's house there. Very cool. Nice. Very nice. We got some city area around here. I'm sure this building out here is used for storage. I, I just, I love the way that he uses pieces for other pieces. That's so cool. We got some uh, concessions and some bathrooms outside here. Got the parking lots, the trees. That's very cool. Very cool. We're at one hundred percent on the memory. Twenty six thousand seating. I think he said it was four hundred, four hundred three center field, three thirty down the lines. I think. Very cool. Very nice. Hey, Dennis. There he is. 
Thanks for joining the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Just scoping out six. All right, let's turn the lights on. Let's come over here. Take a look up here. Very nice job, man. Very nice job. Very, very nice. Thank you so much. This is cool. All right, ready? We're going to turn the lights on. And there she is. Got the flag out there. I was just saying, it's it's so cool how you take pieces and use them for other things to create other things. That's just amazing to me how you do that. All right, let's see. Can we go down into the press box here? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Let's see. Oop. We're in the press box. There we go. We're in the third base press box. There we go. That is cool. That's cool. Let's go down here. All right, so here's your view from home plate. Stadium wasn't really all that much. It was uh, about as basic as the stadium could be. It was in the mid-60s. And it was falling apart. It was in terrible, terrible condition. It never looked this good. <laughs> yeah, I think even when it was brand new, it didn't look this good. Got the doors here leading between the the uh, separation in the buildings. Little section over here. Oh yeah, that, I'm, that that's I'm not worried about that, Dennis. Well, and that's because of using different things for other things. You know, that's you're never going to get it perfect like that. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that it it was airborne there. You can't tell that during the day. That is very cool, man. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to play at least two games here, maybe three, depending on the time. But very nice. Very nice. Yeah, they wish it was made of concrete like that. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I figured that's what it was, Dennis. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool how you put it in there. I figured that's what it, what that was. That is cool. All right, well, let's work on Aaron Judge and get Aaron Judge, and hopefully we'll have time. For him to play a game here too. I downloaded your new Ebbets Field as well, Dennis, and uh, uploaded it. And uh, I'll uh, focus. I'll showcase that one tomorrow night. All right. So let's see. Yeah, that's very nice. And that looked different here. Yeah, you can't really. T oh, I see. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, the way you take things and use them for other things and to create other things, man. It's just. It's, it's awesome. Thank you so much. I don't even think the people in Seattle remember Six Stadium. <laughs> this one was a long time ago. But it looks really good. It looks awesome. Definitely looks cool. All right, let's get the gameplay started. All right, so uh, let's get out of here. Another fantastic job, sir. Oh, yeah, we'll check it out. All right, we're going to let... So Nathan Evaldi is going to pitch five innings, and then... The Batista is going to come in to pitch. Actually, let me check this before we get into it here so I get it right. It shows, man. It really shows because that, that's an awesome job. Evan Phillips is 190. And...
Batista is 270, so he's closer. Yeah, it really shows, man. It, it's it's when you like what you're doing, it always shows, and and yours does. Those are there. very awesome. All right, so let's play the Brewers. Let's do the double header against the Brewers, who used to play there, and then the Mariners, who replaced them when they left. How does that sound? So we'll play the Brewers first. All right. And hopefully we'll get Aaron Judge in the first game here. Okay, this thing is not ending. I see. Okay, so I just can't go to the end. I actually have to pay attention. All right, then. There it is right there. All right. And it only took me nine times to upload it, so that's always cool. All right, I'm going to play September 1 o'clock. Afternoon game, Nathan Avaldi to get the start. He's going to pitch five innings. And hopefully we're going to get enough that we get Aaron Judge in the first game. We're going up against Adrian Hauser. He's a 70, so we should get some pretty good at-bats. Welcome, thanks for joining us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Knights. First pitch coming at you right after the break. He's waving to the fans in Seattle. How you doing, guys? Ready to go now. Up now for Milwaukee, yeah, Owen Miller. The all right. And here comes. And we are underway. That's the third. Whips it to That's first. cool, Dennis, but hopefully it'll be a good one. <laughs> Willie Adamas stands in. The second baseman, Willie Adamas. Misses off the play, and that's ball one. All right, the New York Knights and the Milwaukee Brewers. Yeah, swing and a miss. Chris, you know, you look at Nathan Evaldi's resume. He won the World Series with the Red Sox in 2018, but he was actually originally drafted by the Dodgers back in 2008. He was an 11th round pick. Pretty sure Evaldi pitches five innings. He'll be done with his mission. Him out. And Bautista, and bring him William in for Contreras. four, and hopefully that'll be enough to. Finish him off. We got a lot of guys in action, so I'm hoping we can get Judge on the first game. In for a strike on the outside corner, going one. If Always not, we'll definitely get him on the second ball, game. But interesting, he didn't get a whole lot of swing and miss with it early on. He got better with that stuff as his career progressed. And you talk about that World Series in 2018. He was absolutely fantastic out of the bullpen. Swings through that one. It's a wow. strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Beautiful view. That's like from the press box there. Bottom of the first. Stepping in, the sluggish shortstop, Spencer Steer. He's hitting 520, got two dingers, 10 RBIs. Blew right by him. Next offering down in the dirt. Slice to right. Dives. Uh, what a play. And I see the, I see what you did with those crates. Here's Guriel. All around the stadium, man. Obviously that looks cool. A guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in those are, I'm guessing those are like your tunnels. He hits both righties and lefties. Or walkways to this the to uh, different field. sections. Winker should have it. Two away down. Hey man, four pitches, two Got outs. That is an the excellent pace. Oh, wow. Owen Miller, the next to hit. Oh, wow. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. Third out. One complete here at Sixth Stadium. No score, Brewers and the Knights. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Rowdy Telez. 
Rowdy. Yeah, I, I get it, Dennis. It's cool how you did it, though. I, that's what I figured it was. It looks cool. They're perfectly spaced out where, where they would be, so you kind of know what they are. Yes, it does. You're right. homers in an inning against the Astros. Alvarez, Tucker, Pena, Brantley, and Guriel all took a deep. Yep, it does. It looks pretty cool. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Next for the Brewers, Tyrone Taylor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. Drops in. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Not much the defense can do there. They're playing the odds that he'll pull it right at him, but a little slow roller the other way is pretty much indefensible. He's got it. And there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Luis Urias. Well, he doesn't really need outside. that. He's only going five. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. Yeah, I got a lot of games in over the weekend. I got a lot done. Ripped on a line. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to finish the Tops Now uh, weekly program. And then uh, Tuesday night I'll finish the AL East in Season 2. Back here at the ballpark. Now here is That'll be ready to go by Tuesday night. The pitch. Uh oh! First home run at Six Stadium goes to Christopher Morrell. An absolute blast! Four hundred and eleven feet. It's one nothing. Let to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch it from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger. It went for about halfway up the bleachers there. The hitter, total conviction on that swing. Here's Riley Green. And the Knights take the lead. And that is cut on and missed. 1 1. Oh, yeah, those videos that went up today, Dennis, those were, I did those a couple days ago. I think Saturday, Friday. Yesterday was Saturday. Well. Out to short, Miller. On to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery. So we'll play at the, the right online-friendly exactly version of Ebbets Field tomorrow. Nice ground out. And we'll check that, that one out. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Aaron Judge on my God squad. I've already figured out where he's going to go. He's going to play left field. And Willie Mays, sadly, is going to have to take a seat on the bench. I'm going to keep Trout in center and Sammy Sosa in right. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Of the three, sadly, the 99 Willie Mays is the weakest of those three. So he's going to take the bench. He's going to sit the bench, and Aaron Judge is going to take over in left field. And that hurts me anytime I have to sit Willie, especially a 99. They gave him no love on that guard. He's not even good enough to get into the DH spot. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed. That's one. Over the first seat. Knights get a run. Freddie Freeman Free nothing. to the dish. Chris, how about Freddie Freeman and the career that he has delivered? He's turned into one of the better all-around hitters and a really good defender at first base. Swing and a foul straight back. Yeah, really impressive that he changed uniforms and did not miss a beat. It was an emotional departure for him to leave Atlanta, but he embraced the Dodger blue rather quickly. He embraced it when they gave him his signing bonus. Now he's the first, no, he's and he there. just got his hand in there.
and I can't blame him. <laughs> Not faulting him at all. Bounce to the right side. Adamas, the throw to first. And Freeman is retired. And the inning is over. So Christopher Morrell hits the first home run in sixth stadium history. The Knights get two. They lead 2-0. Two All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Brewers' DH, Ryan Anderson. Devolving back to work. And there's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up. Oh, there. okay. All right, I'll just stick with the one I have then. That one. Uploading is becoming a problem. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. If that's the only difference, Here's then Jesse Winker. I'll just keep the one I have. Only took eight or nine times to upload this one tonight. First offering misses the mark. Winker hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's I think I got lucky with the Evans Field. I uploaded it on the center. fourth try, I think. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And he can't make the ah, play. Good try, good try. Cannot fault There's the hustle. Typically, left fielders have the least amount of range in the outfield, so for him to take the responsibility in center field, that is so one, not he's true. Gonna really need his corner guys to help him out in the gaps. Cut on the and least amount of range. That that is back not true, back Chris. Strikeouts. I don't care how many years you played in the major leagues. I'm calling he's you out on that. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. It happens to me too sometimes, Dennis. Here comes a pitch. And now it's even up. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power back. It sucks that the, the servers deck, can't so work like outs, they should. One swing puts you right back in this ball game. Miller makes the play, and that is that. We go to the bottom of the third at six stadium. Knights two, Brewers nothing. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the power speed combo. Spencer Steer. <laughs> wow. And I still have never heard it once. That's funny. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's That's funny, for Dennis. That's good. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. I still have not heard it once. <laughs> so, man aboard. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 0 for 1 with a flyer. <laughs> Twice in a week. Uh oh. Gurriel crushes it towards the hilltops in left center field. That's out of here. Halfway up the bleachers. His third of the year. And they add a couple more. It's 4 0. 413 foot shot. Two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here almost a little bit further to the right but yeah pretty close 413 feet now it's the second baseman Owen Miller nice lead for zip Swing and a foul straight back. Well, these guys doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Down the right field this line. Up, and it's just foul. Just foul. Oh. It misses, it's a strikeout. What are you That's swinging at, Owen? And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Christopher Morrell. He's already homered here in this one. He did. That was his first home run as a knight. First home run in sixth stadium history. Yeah, He's looking for out. another one all over that yeah, fastball. Just out in front of it a little bit. Still only one out here in the inning. In the no, turn. no, no. Throw over to Telez. 
and there's two away. Now, well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come. The bat to you. did not break the plane. The check swing on this game is Green so broken. At the plate with two away, swings through that one. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Oh, yeah, Dennis, that's cool. That's smart. On the ground, Miller. I noticed those Close in uh, Muzzy Field. That's the third out, inning over. I noticed the those behind Muzzy Field. I had never seen them that long before. That's cool. Whatever works, man. When you have memory limitations, As among everything the else, now the number two hitter. anything that can be used instead is always a good thing. The wine of the pitch. It allows further use elsewhere. That's the third. Sends it across oh. to first. And they get Adamas for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Contreras in the box with one away oh, as he no takes strike. ball one. Avaldi's got one more inning. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Yeah, I noticed on my packs of crap today that the... Uh, and a foul ball. Yeah, that's a good idea, Dennis. That's a good idea, a yeah. Especially when you find things that save up memory, you can do other things, yep. That one out to right. When I, on my 16 packs of crap Makes that I opened up today and got crap, long. And it said uh, Kaiju legs. Takeover on um, first time through. I, I saw the uh, the patch notes. I read the article, and I'm not really sure what it means, though, because I didn't see that any off the mark. Kaiju anything in any of the 16 packs that I opened up, so I'm not really sure what the Kaiju Takeover means There's a strike. It's got on the packs. Really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. I didn't get any Kaiju cards or see any Kaiju symbols or anything, so... I, I really don't know what that means. And it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. It certainly didn't help anything because I still got crap. <laughs> Nothing changed. Taylor batting for the second time. And that's strike one. One for one with a single so far. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. The 1-1 is fouled off. I don't know what that means, Gatsby. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the fourth at 6th Stadium. Knights 4, Brewers nothing. Welcome back. The batter now will be Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Winker should have it. Hauls it in for the out. He needs to settle well, in pretty Robert soon. He's in the fourth inning. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. Robert. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Not close with that one. Ball one. I got you. On the ground to the left. And a couple of quick outs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it would be a very positive sign for Franco's 0 for 1 with a ground out, but he got an RBI on it. So he made it a productive out. Offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Tap to first to Les. He'll do it himself. Oh. And that is Benny's the gonna be upset that he missed. Morell's home run. Four complete here at Six Stadium. Knights up 4 nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the left fielder, Christian Yelich. Right. I got to get uh, who 
Bautista up. He can pitch the last four innings and hope. I don't know if that's going to be enough to finish his mission or not. But Evaldi's will be done. And ball one. Well, these Brewers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. So now one and two. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves He's not going to get there. <laughs> yeah, there is a Godspeed. I rarely play ranked games anymore. I used to play them a lot. I didn't have a very good winning percentage. I was about swing and a miss, struck him out, and that's the first. I was about forty percent. Luis Arias. So I, did, I didn't have a winning record by any means, but I wasn't too bad. I could play with the best of them, but I was about forty percent winning percentage. But yeah, there's uh, I don't I don't play much anymore because exactly what you just said. Swings and misses, and the count is one and one. It just wasn't very much fun anymore. And now one and two. One now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix. I'd rather play the, all these missions and programs. Ground ball right side. Miller sends it to first, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Two outs, bases empty. So here's the Brewers' DH, Ryan Anderson, and fouled off. And he'll one. On the ground, right side. Miller gets it to first. And that is that. That is that. We are in the middle of the fifth inning at Sixth Stadium in Seattle. Four nothing Knights. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here Sixth comes Freddie Stadium. To hit. The first base they didn't really give that a lot of thought. Back in the day, they called Wait, Sean Casey the mayor. No, and they didn't really care, I guess. The Freeman rips it right up the Freeman middle for a base hit. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Godspeed. Damn. <laughs> Couldn't have timed it up You're any better than please. that. I could watch base now, hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. You just get him to nice come in. Drive into yeah. center field. Thank Here's you for that. <laughs> I almost did. Piguero. I almost did. Piguero throws the first. Freeman gets back easily. I keep trying to remember to hit that schedule the Stepping pitching change. In, Spencer Steer. And first offering is fouled off. You know, yeah, Dennis, he he was he was something. Really good at bats in this game. He was he was definitely something. Uh, some VIP. To me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him hey, out buddy. of the game before he settles in. Thanks for joining the stream. This is the one that Dennis made. A couple of hits in a row for him Six here. Six Seattle Stadium. From the mid, early to mid 1960s. Looks well, really nice. Dennis did a fantastic job on it. Whips it across. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Owen Miller now at the plate. Another run comes across. It's 5 nothing Knights. This to third. To first and two away now. And now the center fielder, Christopher Morell. He's already homered in this game. Morell. And that one is lifted in the air. Ah, he's going to get there. Taylor grabs it on the run. All right, five complete here at six. The Knights get another one. They're up five nothing. And we have Felix Bautista, Bautista coming in. He's been in he three games, one save, no ERA, seven strikeouts, no walks. Hopefully Jesse pitching Winter, four innings will finish his mission here. One, he struck out swinging last time. And that will go towards getting Aaron Judge. Bautista, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, 
Sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Next for Milwaukee, Owen Miller. Owen Miller. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Bonnie and I spent the day yesterday at the pitches outside. That As little hitter, casino I was telling you guys about that we mistake, found right, right yeah, down the street from the house. That, you know, somehow, some <laughs> That's way, dangerous. That place is so close. Walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Lays out. He's Pretty cool it. place and though. Very nicely done for the out. Nice and clean. No smoking inside. Here's the second baseman, Willie Adamas. And delicious now sandwiches. Very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. In there for strike one. And he's got All deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural. Flaw. That's a nice shot right there. It makes there. it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the swings and misses. Adamas down on strikes. We go to the bottom half of the sixth. New York 5 nothing over Milwaukee. And welcome back. Bottom of the oh, inning. Boy, and boy. now here is right Riley field. Green. Riley Green. Figueroa back to work. In the air, left side. Yelich should have it. And there's one away. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely. I wouldn't go that far. Man, this guy was ready to hit. It was a regular lot, lazy fly ball. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. Yeah, it did, Dennis, didn't it? See that happening right a lot. Field. Taylor ranging after it. And there's two I've also noticed, I don't know, Godspeed, if you've two noticed this or not. Since the uh, patch, Luis Robert they fixed uh, what they were saying about um, they threw the ball away from the outfield, saying that every five seconds. They fixed that. Now they're saying snap now throw we'll base, all the time. The snap throw to first or snap throw here in that countless times. We go to the top of the seventh. Now, William Contreras. And I mean, they're saying it when there's no snap throw, which is the point. <laughs> Pitch. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. And, and a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything yeah, close to the Rowdy Toledo. I'm going to play this until next yeah, July. Bring his fouled off. When the new college football game comes out. There's and I'm not going to be buying Green this game again. Pulls it in on the warning track. Oh, oh, oh I see that, Steve. That's a good idea. I do that sometimes. I don't do it all the time. First but I've been noticing that a lot. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his They'll just say, snap player. throw to first. That's or snap there. throw. And that is strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders. When they don't throw the ball. <laughs> Ever since the patch the, play, the other day. The zone, they stopped saying uh, he threw it away the from the outfield. Of the but now they're saying that all the time. I listen to music when I play in the morning. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the Much seven. more enjoyable most Wonder of the time. Franco. The pitch. And that one Franco's all right. over that one, but Taylor right at the, the right away. fielder. And now the first the baseman, first Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Freddie. With this kind of lead, he can Freeman. swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Liner, uh, it first. Ripped it down the line, and a first baseman was standing right there. Right there. Out towards right center field. Taylor ranging after it. Back to the track. Makes the play, and it's out number three. 
Seven complete here in Seattle. Six Stadium is the site. Knights lead 5-0. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Christian Yelich. The left fielder, number 22, Christian Yelich. And a pitch. That's in for a strike. Swings through that. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. Luis. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Check swing and he held up. That's big right there. 24,196 here in the initial game at Six Stadium. Down on strikes, two down. Brian Anderson up now for the Brewers. Oh, Bonnie popped on. Dennis, you said great job with the stadium. I don't know if you saw that or not. Now fly ball to right center. Green settles under it. And he makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Five, nothing New York. Bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. In his third home run of the season earlier. Back in the third inning. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Yeah, I think Riel she left already, Dennis. <laughs> she she doesn't stay very long. She pops in, says hi, checks things out for a few minutes, and then she goes tick tocking. Rip to the left center base hit. All right, to the left center field gap. That's going to get to the wall. All the way to the wall. Going to be a stand up double for Guriel. Now it's the second baseman, Owen Miller. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Taylor pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Christopher Morell getting ready to hit. One for three. Runner at second one out. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. That one drew. He jumps on field. that one. It's deep. Gone. Oh, second of the game for Morrell. Just barely the cleared the wall. On the board. It's, seven it's a two run it's shot, 344 feet. feet. I think that was that first or ball. second row. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. First or second row. Didn't make it by much. Line drive. Yep, front row. <laughs> yep. Right in the front row. To his credit, very patient, waited for it, and he turned it around. Next to hit, Riley Seven Green. to nothing, New York. And he swings and misses. Riley got a little bit of home run ice there. Contagious. One to hit one, but swinging it one over and his eyes. Deals. And now the count yeah, is out. even. Uh oh. Right center. That's Riley Green stuck. gives it a ride right center field. Ooh, Goodbye. Yeah. That's out of here. Second of the year for Riley Green. It's eight nothing. Three hundred ninety-two feet. That was a line drive too. Balls are getting out of here in a hurry. To notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Three hundred ninety-two feet. That was about four rows up. A new pitcher from the pen, Abner Uribe. He's being eased Eight to nothing, New York. Will Smith won for three with a single. And first offering is down <laughs> off. Yeah, it certainly looks it, Dennis. It's got that feel to it right now. What's that, four, That's I think? That's Maybe five. That oh, one misses man. two and one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. 
with that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that. That one's away. through the shift the for a base hit. base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Now Not bad. much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. That's giving a ride field. deep to right. Two. Gone! Luis Robert it's hits gone. first of the Luis year. Robert hits one out. And they tack on to their lead. It's 10-0. 353 foot shot. A lot of guys getting their first home runs of the year here. It certainly does look like Six Stadium is going to be hitter friendly. 353 feet, four rows up. 10 nothing New York. Yeah, tennis. <laughs> Franco, left center field. Yelich makes a nice catch. That's only the second out of the inning. It to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. Ready, Freeman, center field. I don't know if he's going to get there. He does. So we've completed eight. New York up ten nothing. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Jesse Winker. Jesse. And here it comes that one down the line and it goes just foul that one the other way Guriel handles the chance and Winker is set down and there's one down now at the plate oh, Owen Miller the Owen. first pitch and he just misses Really? Wow. And that's in for a strike. <laughs> that's cool. That'll be fun. Like a different... Uh, Swing and a miss as he was out front. A he different shape. Polo grounds. And that, slider that's down. that should that's be fun. Money pitches to get that swing and miss. Got him. Snap throw. Now the number two hitter, Willie Adamas. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. High fly ball, right field. That's Green playable. That should do it. Riley Green squeezes it, and the Knights win. It's our complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. Ten zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Thank you, guys. We that wraps up the first game at Six Stadium in Seattle. New York bombs Milwaukee ten nothing. Knights out hit the Brewers twelve to two. Christopher Morell is your player of the game. Two for four with a couple of homers, three RBIs. Lourdes Guriel Jr. two for four with a homer, a double, three ribbies. Luis Robert was two for four with a homer and two RBIs, and Spencer Steer two for four with two doubles. Nathan Avaldi got the win. Five innings pitch, no runs, two hits. Struck out seven. Felix Bautista picks up his second save. Now, is that enough to get us Aaron Judge? Avaldi the winner. He's two and zero. Oh. Felix Bautista, the save. Neither of them have an ERA. Come on, give me Aaron Judge. All right, well, first, Nathan Avaldi hits level one. He's a 98 overall. Felix Bautista reaches level one. He's a 97. Come on, give me Aaron. Christopher Morrell reaches level one. He's a 96 overall now. Got him. All right. Very good. So Aaron Judge is going to make his debut at 6 Stadium. Very nice. All right, we can sell this guy. All right, there he is. I love that lightning card. So he will join the God Squad in left field. Let's take a look at this here. 
So the AL Central season. <laughs> That's good, Dennis. The AL Central season one is getting ready to be finished off. Season two is progressed pretty nicely without me focusing on it whatsoever. 67% done. It's the way it should be. All right, so Felix Bautista, yep, he finished his mission. Nathan Avaldi finished his. Luis Robert finished his. Wander Franco finished his. Wow, we got way more than we needed, which is always nice when they give you that option. May monthly rewards program, awards program, 100% complete. Let's take a peek at it. There it is. Love seeing that complete. This bugs me down here. This one, the only one I have not completed because I can't beat the showdown. That bugs me. All right, so that's... That's what she's all about. All right, very good. So now, let's come out. Oh, nope. And... Hey, Benny, we were just talking about you. You missed it. Christopher Morell just hit two homers. In a game, I was thinking about you. I mentioned you. Yeah, Dennis, if it was only that easy. <laughs> I wish it was. All right. Sadly, this breaks my heart. Willie Mays has to go to the bench. Yeah, he just hit two home runs. He may hit another one. Oh, no, he's out of the lineup now. I just finished the Aaron Judge program. All right, it breaks my heart that Willie Mays has to come out of the starting lineup. That just ain't right, man. They gave him no love at all. And he will be, so my bench will be Josh Donaldson, Willie Mays, Ricky Henderson, and Bryce Harper for now. Jazz Chisholm is not going to play left field. That left field is going to be taken by, right there, Lightning Man, Aaron Judge. All right, so my outfield is now Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, Sammy Sosa. I got Babe Ruth at first, Trey Turner at second, Chipper Jones at third. I'm sorry, short. Matt Chapman at third, Big Poppy just joined the lineup as well at the D8 spot. Gary Carter doing the catching. Starting pitchers, Bob Gibson, Greg Maddox, Zach Gallen. This guy's Yamamoto, and um, Baumgartner's just doesn't really matter. Actually, Mitch Keller is going to join the lineup. Uh, I want to say two, Benny. Three at the most. Those will go up in a couple of days. I finished them. Uh, I want to say three at the most, but I'm pretty sure I got it on the second try. All right, so Mitch Keller, he got up to 99, didn't he? He did, so we're going to bump him up. Greg Maddox is at level four, so he's going to pitch second game here tonight. And my bullpen is like the dream team of bullpens. We got uh, Lee Smith, Craig Kimbrell, Evan Phillips just added, Devin Williams, Jose Alvarado, Kenley Jansen, Goose Gossage, and... Mariano Rivera. If anybody's going to go, I don't think there's anybody. Nope, 97s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nice when it happens, Benny. Every once in a while, I'll get something on the first try, too, and I'm like, ooh, that's nice. I think that one took me uh, three tries, though. Maybe two. I did it yesterday. I don't remember. But those are going to go up in a couple of days. I can only put up a few videos a day. So, and the um, May Monthly had 20 moments. So those are going to take a few days to put up. But once all of those are up, then the tops now will uh, be put up on the channel as well. All right, so let's see. We need some uh, some work done on our lineup here. Look at this. It's just power upon power upon power. No, not that I noticed, Benny. I didn't run into any glitches for anything. 
Not that I noticed. I'm going to have to go with uh, whoever has the second most speed. 85, 99, Trout. All right, so Trout's going to bat second. 125, Babe Ruth's got to bat third. Oh, we got to have Judges. We'll bat. Oh, Judge. Big Poppy. Yeah. Sammy. Chipper's a little bit better than Sammy. Better than Big Poppy. And Gary Carter. Poor Gary Carter. He's a distant ninth. So Big Poppy's only going to bat seventh. Oh. No, I didn't get that lucky to have anything like that happen to me, <laughs> Benny. No. Everything worked the way it should have. Hold on, let me take a let me take a peek at that. We're gonna so we're gonna play the night game with with the God Squad and Aaron Judge in the lineup. I keep hitting the wrong button here. Let's see. Uh, let's look at the programs here. Let's see. There, I'm gonna finish the program tomorrow night on tomorrow night's stream, but everything is done. The only thing I have to do is uh, this with the captain get 250 PXP with the captain so I'm gonna pick a pitcher and we'll get that in one game so I'll do that tomorrow night but the moments uh, yeah two hits uh, I don't recall anything there was one that was pretty let's see this one this one caused me problems Corbin Carroll I couldn't get a hit I couldn't get a hit with this guy. That one caused me problems. Uh, Reese Olsen. That scene, that, I don't remember anything bad about that. Shaver was good. Berger wasn't too bad. Yeah, the only one I remember is is uh, this one here, Corbin Carroll. I could not get uh, a hit with him. I, I want to say I was like 15, 15, 20 minutes in that range for that one. I can't remember exactly. It was a couple of days ago I did it, but yeah, that one was the hard one for me. All right, and we're debuting six Seattle Stadium here tonight, courtesy of Dennis. And so we're going to go with the God Squad tonight. Greg Maddox is still a level four. We're trying to get him to level five. Let's uh, see how close he is. Where is he? He is at, so he's closing in. He's not going to get to, no, usually they're about a 1,000 max. He's not going to get to level 5 tonight, but he'll get closer. All right, and we're going to play the Seattle Mariners since we played the Milwaukee Brewers, who were the Seattle Pilots at 6 Stadium. Seattle left for Milwaukee to become the Brewers, and then the Mariners came. What? When did the Mariners come? Uh, it's about 10 years later, I think. Maybe 8, eight to 10 years later. 77, I think, the Mariners came in. They came in with the Blue Jays, I'm pretty sure. And 6, Seattle Stadium. Again, courtesy of Dennis, we're going to play 7 p.m., on September to give a beautiful, complete sunset. Yeah, same year as Blue Jays, yep. 77, all right. So Greg Maddox is going to be on the bump. There's the new batting order. Trey Turner, Mike Trout, Babe Ruth, Aaron Judge, Chipper Jones, Sammy Sosa, Big Poppy, Matt Chapman, and Gary Carter. And I still have Mark McGuire coming. I still have Derek Jeter coming. I still have Mickey Mantle hopefully coming. I still have a good Lou Gehrig card coming, so I I got a lot of decisions to make with my lineup coming up in the future. We're going up against George Kirby. He's going to be on the bump for the Mariners. He's an 82 overall. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on New York. 
First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. All right. We are ready. Rodriguez. And I was pitching with uh, Tyler Glasnow today. In for a strike. And we're underway. While I was working on the uh, AL East season two uh, team affinity and empty on the swing, oh, I use glass now the baby giraffe card so stupid right to the plate. but I used him I uh, pitched what four five games with him today out at a left center and uh, he threw a perfect game this afternoon and Aaron makes a nice grab out there that Tyler Glasnow card is pretty good Sam Haggerty. especially if you bump him up I think I got him to a 99 now To the right. But we're going to get a complete Seattle sunset here. Kicks and deals. And one at wrapped foul. Six Stadium. One down, base is empty. Got it by him for the K. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. That just that breaks my heart to have to take Willie Mays Here's out of the lineup. Miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got And considering the fact that that's a 99 it's card, maybe down in the dirt. I'm thinking they're not going to give him another 99 card. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. And that sucks. They did not give him any love at all. He didn't stay in the lineup long got at all. Him swinging. Good look at the stadium seating here at Six Stadium. Twenty-six thousand capacity. Turner at the plate. Here's Trey Ready batting three ninety-four, nineteen homers, forty-nine RBIs. Quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? In the air. Right Trey side. Turner. Hernandez puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. Yeah, I, I saw. I saw Dennis. And it's okay. It's cool, though. Mike Trout's batting 413. 48 homers, 128 RBIs. You, you do what you got to do, Dennis, you know. When you're trying to recreate something, you know, you do the best that you can. I've seen it a couple times already, and it's no big deal. I didn't think twice about it. Understand it completely. But if you're not really, if you're not really looking around, you would never notice. This one smoked out to left. Pollock it in. I like to see how you put the things together, like right in that area so there. Next, and uh, the center field. This is a true five tool guy. Babe's hitting 408, 13 there, home runs, 55 field, ribbies. On a line, base hit. Through for a base hit. Yeah, it looks cool. That's why I let the cutscenes go so he can he can get and the full effect. Aaron Judge, Here's Aaron making his debut. Deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's a strike. First at bat as a New York Knight. He left the Yankees. They didn't want to pay him what he was worth. Bruce, the runner at first with the Knights long. don't have any payroll restrictions. And he's back in easily. Pickoff throw on Babe Ruth. Where's he going? Come on. At the belt and fires. Ah, foul straight back. Come on, Aaron. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays. Glad to see his last series. name is on his card the and they're using his real name. Was Not a big fan of those hand. incognito cards. Hit in the air, right field. Hernandez settles underneath it. And that's the third out. So we have one Second complete inning, here in Seattle. No score. That was very odd. Thought we crashed there for a minute. The screen went black. The right ready to go. That was Still a no weird score. transition. Ball one there. I think September at 7 p.m. gives you the best full sunset. The wind of the pitch. Complimenting the complete darkness over a stadium. One ball, two strikes. 
contemplating. What the hell am I talking about? In contrast to the darkness or that takes over for the Fights last off, three or four innings. Another. If you play a night game in July, in July it takes uh, the sun doesn't set until like the eighth inning. Sometimes it doesn't go night, uh, complete darkness at all. So 7 p.m. in September seems to give you a complete sunset and then a few innings, three, four innings of darkness as well. He's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Really? I wonder if it's like strike. Dennis yeah, said, God's and, you know, he's got That was command, weird. Be in the zone, it seemed very effective. short, though. Just moving the ball around, getting the ball back. It, it wasn't just the black screen. It was the, it was very, very short as well. Kicks and fires. Guys, we said he's had a couple times Swing already. And a miss struck him out. Here's Jared Kelnick. Jared Kelnick. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today? because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Keeping guys off the base That's paths a nice with shot. the way the swings and the launch angles are today, the emphasis of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the second. Knights and Mariners. No score. Bottom of the second. And the batter will be the shortstop. Chipper Jones. Chipper's hitting 439. Nine homers, 36 RBIs. Chipper, Chipper launches one deep to left field. That ain't coming back. Chipper Jones is 10th of the, the year. Way, and they jump out front. It's 1 0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball. 362 and feet. About three or four rows up into the grandstands. Here's Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa. Sammy's hitting 337. That misses the zone, and it's 1 0. Five homers, 25 RBIs. I'll be on the lookout for that, Dennis. When we play at Ebbets. That one wasn't and just a black little. screen, though. It was just a very short time frame, which led now me to believe it was going to crash. Makes the catch, and there's one goal. I got so used to pinpointing when the so games were going to crash from playing 2K Sports, WWE 2K22. <laughs> Anytime I see any imperfection at all, I keep waiting for a crash. A foul ball. Big Poppy's batting 250. He's only been in the lineup for one or two games. That's inside, and now it's even one and one. <laughs> no, not here. Oh, it is almost took center. Kirby's That's head off. So Poppy rips it away. into center field. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride. Matt Chapman's batting 408, six home runs, 17 out. RBIs. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Matt Chapman now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Nice purple sky out there beyond the outfield here in Seattle. Oh, and two now. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Wong. Throw to first, but he beat it. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gary Carter. The kid's he batting 348. The the four home runs. 32 RBIs. Gary lifts one to center field. To the track. Pulls it in on the warning track. Makes the catch. Two complete here at six. One nothing New York. Suarez up to hit down. Maddox back to work. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Line drive, base hit right field. Back. 
batting it. The Colton Wong up to hit. Colton. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss as he was late. The pitch. Right back to the mound. Could be an nice easy two. Play. That takes care Beautifully of Beautifully done. And up next for Seattle, Ty France. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And Aaron makes Aaron Judge. Nice good hustle. There. Middle of the third here in Seattle. Knights one, Mariners nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Trey Turner now. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Swing and a ball lifted. Almost left field. on cue, only to the track. The grab though. one down. Just pulled off of it a little now bit right it. there. That Center front fielder. shoulder coming open Come instead of staying closed. If he wow. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Trout rockets Hard that one in the left field. In. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Waste no time there. Nice None of the other guys on my God right squad there. hit home he runs at the pace that Mike That's Trout does. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. At the play, Babe Ruth. Be hard pressed to get him out of the lineup. Trout leads off first with one away. That's Out his WBC card. Rodriguez settles under it. Squeezes it. That's out number two. Aaron Judge in 2016 got 95 plate appearances and hit just 179. He kept that number 179 in the notes section on his iPhone the entire offseason. And then in 2017, he oh. had 52 homers and won the rookie of the year. Just out in front of that one. Gave it a ride, but foul. Swing and a miss. Yeah, that rookie season for Aaron Judge makes the all-star team, wins the home run derby they down there in Miami. Vision. Just really step it into the bright lights. There's his first hit as a New York Knight. Face it into center field. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Good two-strike hitting right there, but no, a bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. He got that front foot down. Chipper went yard his first step back. Point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Next to hit, Chipper Jones. Pollock on the run. Reaches for it, but it's foul. Oh. Next pitch has popped up. He's that was there. weak, Chipper. He's got it. And that's the inning. Three complete at six stadium. Knights won nothing. And welcome back. Start of the fourth. And the batter down, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. The right hander back to work. That one to first, and it goes just foul. This one blasted the other way, down the line, uh -oh. and it's a foul ball. Oh, just foul. Five feet. The pitch. Nope. Swing and a miss. Nice and a mouth pitch. front for the strikeout. Now batting. Stepping in the is the switch shot. hitting shortstop, Sam, Sam Haggerty. Haggerty. His first at bat was a strikeout. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the Got pitcher, him. covering the bag. And that quickly, two away. Once again, this stadium here tonight, he sixth stadium in Seattle. First time. Created by Dennis. I'll put Got his uh, away, and that's out of play. ID in the community up in the uh, description after the stream if you want to check out some of his work offering is in for a strike incredible work 
lots of old time stadiums on his swing and a miss struck him out and good work there as he gets uploads in the community three. he can put it Dennis you can put your uh, ID up in the chat if you want to ready to go bottom go. four Boy, digging go. in Sammy Sosa right I have about five of Dennis's stadiums on the ground to short Haggerty maybe more I can, well, gets I'm not first. sure Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Here's a big power threat. David Ortiz. Big Poppy. Right at him. There's his ID. Archmage Chimash with more stadiums to come. Lots of fantastic work. If you love stadiums like we do, you'll find some outstanding ones there. Hey, did you ever hear back from, uh, what's his name, Harrison? Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball. Gary's right 0 for 1 middle, tonight. A lot of velocity right on top of it. And now it's going to be... Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Left center field toward the track. Rodriguez, Rodriguez tracks it run. down. Four complete. Six stadium is now under complete darkness. It's one nothing New York. New inning getting started. AJ Pollock at the dish. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, okay. Well, he's got a lot of work to do. He could do a whole stream on or a whole video on just your work. So up next, Cal Raleigh struck out swinging his first time. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine that he does. I watch his stuff every once in a while looking for new ideas on the corner of, of the stuff knees. to download so yeah I can imagine I subscribe to his channel next offering is in for a strike no ball, two strikes. the pitch just misses one and two to count swings through it and that's a strikeout in now is the Mariners' DH, Jared Kellner. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. In the air right field, Sosa drifts towards it. And that ends the inning. Oh, really? I've never seen him do one. I always see him talking about everybody else's. I didn't know he did them too. Ready to go for the last I'll have to look for that. Here's some real power the at the plate. Reason. Trey Turner. Turner. And he deals. You know, people may not remember about Trey Turner. He was actually drafted in the first round out of NC State by the Padres. Made his debut. Line drive to left field, field. hard over his head off the top of the offense. wall. Trey Turner just second. missed a home run by go. less than a foot. He's got a stand-up double. Right there. You smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of I'll have to keep an eye out for that, Dennis. In, but obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And now batting, Mike Trout. Nope. First pitch, just misses. Here comes a pitch. Oh, I popped right it side. up. And there's one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone the right there. They look really three. good coming in, but Bang. it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Ruth, Ruth the ball next to hit, hit, takes ball one.
That one misses. Two balls, no strikes. Balls, Appears no they're balls. working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2 0 -oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys. Oh, Babe Ruth swings and crushes one toward the Canadian border. That ain't Maybe coming back. Way out of here. Left center Maybe field is 14th of the year. It's 3 0. When a guy's got a real hard it's a two-run shot for the babe. All you've got to do is get the bat head to that was a moon spot. shot. He supplies the power, then you'll get to jog Halfway up, three-quarters of the way up that lower level of the grandstand. 408-foot bomb by the babe. One down. It's Aaron Judge now. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Aaron Judge gives it a ride. Run. Left center field. Caught at the track. Oh, so he does retro ones? That's cool, Dennis. Swing and a slow roller. He steps on the bag. That ends the frame. The babe goes deep. Five complete here at six. Knights up three nothing. We go to the top half of inning number six. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, these Mariners just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for him yet. Greg Maddox Here's has batters talking to themselves to tonight. Double play his first time up. In the air, left field. Judge makes the catch for the out. Two down. Now batter, the first baseman, Ty Prince. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Chipper up with it to Babe Ruth. Middle of the sixth here in Seattle. Sixth stadium, the site. New York up on top. Three Ready nothing. reliever out of the pen, Matt Brash. And we all know about You're a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin Sammy's over two, currently hitting 330. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. And next is the designated hitter, David Ortiz. To the right side, Wong. Over to first, two up, two down. Matt Chapman up to the plate the now. Baseman. When you Matt. talk about elite defensive Chapman. third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Swung on, belted. Okay, Dennis. That one's deep by Chapman. It's gone. It cleared the wall, not by much, but by enough. His seventh. I didn't think that was going to make it. Right down in the first row at their feet. We didn't even get a distance on that one. It didn't go far enough over the wall to register. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and that'll do it. So Chapman goes yard, New York up four to nothing after six. I'll look on his channel, Dennis, and see. Uh, I would imagine his ID would be on his channel somewhere. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And that one in the air center field. Snags it on the run. And a quick out number one. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't. Sam Haggerty. Might be interesting to find out. I hit a couple balls that... Uh, Haggerty, now in the box. Where did I play this afternoon? The there. Oh, um... Where the, the Cardinals' old stadium, Scheib? Or Sportsman's. Sportsman's Park. I hit a couple out onto the street over the roof and right field there today. And down on strikes. Snap throw. Doesn't look that far. It's kind of high. But the distance would be doable, I would think. Out. 
That pitch gets the inside corner. That's strike one. Fall off foul. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Next offering is fouled back. This is pitch number 60 for Maddox. It gets him to the middle of the seventh with a 4 nothing lead. Seventh inning stretch time here at Sixth Stadium. Get up and stretch him out. Knights lead by four. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. The pitch. Swing oh, Trey drive. Turner on cue. Way out of here. About seven rows up in right Trey center Turner field. His 20th of the year. The year. It's five zip. Well, Balls are flying out of the yard here game. today at Sixth Stadium. Definitely a hitter's game. ballpark. And circled the bases. 409 foot shot. Oh yeah, that's Matt Vesta three quarters the of the way up to the top of the, the grandstand out there. Has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance. Speaking of high up in the grandstand, here's Trout. <laughs> we just found out and that's just that uh, Duran Duran is coming to the arena here in Tampa where the Lightning play. I will go on record and say I am not a Duran Duran fan. Bonnie is, though. She loves them. And the show is this Saturday night. And we didn't know they were coming. So we went on to get tickets. And very, very few tickets of two together left. Like probably less than 10 sets of two tickets together in the entire arena. And up second row from the top, opposite side of the arena, $100 for tickets. $100 for one ticket. Opposite end of the arena, one row from the top. Unbelievable. Judge may have his first homer as a night. He does. Four rows deep in left center field. He has his first home run as a New York Knight. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. 354 feet. That's about five rows up. So digging in, and it's six to nothing. Nice. Chipper's one for three. He went yard back in the second. And that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. The right fielder, number 21. So two down. Now it's the right fielder, Sammy Sosa. In there, and it's 0-1. Wow. Sammy one's the count. Sammy's 0 for 3 Jones tonight. Off of first with two away. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The 0-2. Sammy's got himself a base hit to left field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now, here is... Ortiz gives it a ride. Right That's center field there. and deep. And off high off of the wall. wall. Missed a home run by a foot and a half. But he's got an RBI double. I'm sorry, he's got a two-run double. Run 
nicely done. Brings home two. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays oh, in. Oh, yeah, that's cool, Dennis. He hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong Chapman's with the Chapman's two for three. He went yard Taylor opposite Sussie field earlier. On a pitch out of the pen here. I think it's got to be a little tough. Oh, and he's got another one. Drive. Line drive left it. field. That's yeah. way out of here. About 10 rows up his second of the game. He's done it again. Eighth of the season. The game. And they add to the lead. It's 10 nothing. He was Open all over game. that. That left the, the yard you know, he's just to get in a heartbeat. And on the other 380 side, feet, 108 exit velocity. Nicely 10 to nothing. The Hollywood Blondes. That's cool. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Steve Austin and uh, now the lefty. uh God, I can't think of his name. Hit hard on the ground to short. Steve Austin Throw and uh, and he's safe. was that Dennis? God, I can't Here's think of his name. I'm drawing a blank. And there's a foul ball. Turner went yard earlier, and he has a double. One. Stan Lane, right? Yeah, I can't remember now. I'm drawing a complete blank. The pitch. On the ground to third. They get the force, and that is the inning. So seven are complete. The Knights got a bunch. They lead 10-0. the top of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. A.J. Pollock. Buddy Roberts. No, I don't want to say that's right. Maddox, back to work. Swing and a miss, strike one. These guys have been very aggressive early in the Cal, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take Where's God's speed? He would know. You can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. 0 oh 2 now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I watched the whole program on them too. <laughs> I can't. Not too long ago, and I can't remember. And first offering is fouled off. And here comes. Way out front for strike oh, two. Right. Got him swinging. Jerry Kelman. Up next for the Mariners. Yeah. Yeah, apparently there was a few teams that went by that name. First offering is fouled off. I'll find out. Left hand batter waits. On the ground to first, Ruth. The flip to the pitcher oh. covering, out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth. That's six, Seattle Stadium. Ten nothing, New York. Up, Trout. On to the bottom Ruth. of the eighth. Here's and the Judge. Fielder, Mike Trout. The, center fielder, Mike. the sideline wow. roof. <laughs> and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Trout has a single tonight. One of the few guys in the lineup without a home run. He's got 48 on the year. Drive base hit. That's another single for him. Good extension on that swing. Took the, the pitch on the outside part of the plate and there. drove it up the middle. He Babe's two for four. Up. He's got a homer and a Babe single. The next two hit. RBIs. And Ooh. there's a strike. Way out in front of that. That was embarrassing, sir. Yeah, that's right. Blame the bat, babe. There's a hole in it. Left field. 
Pollock has this one sized up. And there's one away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky There's Aaron Judge's New York Knights Man, debut first. here. He's and got a homer and a single tonight, two for four. Going one. Trap, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Snap throw to first. Trap back in standing. 22,443. The yeah, the first balls. team. Yeah, Godspeed. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long. It might have been Brian Pillman. Swing right there. Might have been Pillman. Up on this next pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone. No matter number. Three. Now it's the shortstop, Chipper Jones. Chipper. I now think that might be very right. Very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. I think that might be correct, Brian Pillman. That's out to center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the catch. And that is that. Eight complete here in Seattle. Six stadium. The site, New York, up 10 nothing. Mariners only have Back one hit. The ballpark. We, we go to the ninth. And now Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. Greg Maddox still Maddox. energy Maddox. halfway. No, wins. Greg Valentine wasn't a Hollywood blonde, though. And there's one away. Greg now Valentine the was the dream team. This is the 70th pitch of the evening for Greg Maddox. That's he has pitched there. a gem. He doesn't get a knock right here. That pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. I think it was Brian Billman. Got it by him for the K. 15th K of the game. And stepping in for Greg Maddox. Ty France. Swing and a miss. Strike one. There's a fly ball center field. Trout's under it. That ought to do it. Nice win. Performance on the mound, you know he's gonna stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you yeah, he's not worried about it. So dominant, he pitched a perfect game last pitch. week. Perhaps he'd have a no hitter. Ten zip your final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. So the Knights sweep the Twy Night double header. To open up six stadium in Seattle. There's Chipper Jones, his opposite field home run. He has more opposite field shots than he does pulling the ball. There's Babe Ruth, his shot toward the Canadian border. Trey Turner went yard. So New 